Salmonella and Salmonelliosis, a complete beginner's guide. What is Salmonella? Salmonella are a type of bacteria that are one of the most common food poisoning bacteria. They cause Salmonelliosis and one of the most well-known names of bacteria. Like most other bacteria, Salmonella have species that are harmless and those that are harmful to us. So let's take a look at Salmonella enteritis. Salmonella enteritis is a disease causing species that causes the Salmonelliosis. S. enteritis is a gram-negative rod-shaped bacteria. These species are like E. coli to be the big brother of Salmonella. They are similar because they cause infection in the same ways, especially via the fecal oral route. Salmonella are also thought to be one of the major causes of traveler's diarrhea. E. coli are generally tougher than Salmonella because they can survive harsh conditions, such as high temperatures, lower moisture and higher salt contents. Food microbiologists say that if E. coli is present, you are more than likely to have Salmonella as well. But this does not mean that we shouldn't be concerned about Salmonella. In fact, Salmonella are most infamous for con contamination of eggs rather than red meat and living in the gut. Chocolate has also had cause of con contamination with Salmonella, and in general we expect E. coli to be present in red meat and Salmonella in chicken. Yet E. coli is also present in chicken as well as fruits and vegetables. So focusing on E. coli will usually address Salmonella concerns as well. Salmonelliosis is likely one of the most common forms of food poisoning throughout the world. So let's take a look at Salmonelliosis. S. enteritis causes diarrhea, stomach cramps and fever, known as Salmonelliosis. The classic signs of food poisoning can develop within 12 to 3 days and can even last up to 1 week. Most patients that are hospitalized are due to severe dehydration because of these symptoms. Salmonella is a major cause of human bacterial infection in the US. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, Salmonella can uh, cause infections of around 1 million Americans every year, leading to 19,000 hospitalizations as well as 380 deaths. When considering bacteria such as E. coli 0157H7, although there are only 2,000 hospitalizations, 60 people die from this disease each year. So what are the symptoms? The symptoms of salmonelliosis include stomach cramps, bloody stools, diarrhea, muscle pains, nausea, vomiting, dizziness and fever. So one of the important questions we have to ask is how do you prevent salmonelliosis? Preventing salmonelliosis is a fairly simple procedure. The important parts are cooking your foods to an internal temperature of at least 75 degrees Celsius or 167 degrees Fahrenheit, which can easily kill the bacteria. Handling your raw meats, especially chicken and eggs, separately from ready-to-eat foods will greatly minimize this risk. Keeping foods properly refrigerated until ready to prepare and cook, as well as hand washing and personal hygiene is essential in preventing cross-contamination. Avoiding eating high-risk foods, including raw and undercooked eggs, and as well as undercooked ground beef or poultry, and unpasteurized milk. So what are the treatments of salmonelliosis? The treatment of the symptoms relate to dehydration in most cases. This means taking in fluids and replacing electrolytes in your body, and simple antibiotic treatment will resolve further complications.